Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I am doing my keyword grouping. Um, this is all completely free. I do use Gemini Pro, however you can also use the free version and it does just a good enough job as well. So this is a free keyword grouping and topical clustering um, methodology that I've started to actually use a lot more as well. So. The first step is to head over to Google Ad Explorer. You don't need to spend a single penny on this. All you need is an account. Um, you can very easily just search Google keyword planner. Um, you can just sign up here. If you already have a Gmail, you should be able to just log in straight off the bat. Once you have logged in, you will then want to go over to tools and settings in the top right then you've got all of these different sections here. Um, it can be a little bit daunting at first. However, what we want to take a look at is Keywords Planner, which is here, just underneath Planning section. Just click on Keywords Planner. Then you can essentially enter in your website here. So you've got either start with keywords or start with a website. I've just plugged in Ahrefs because it's just an example um, website. But say for example, you might have a competitor in, let's say, you could literally do this for anything, right? Let's do lawyers. Actually, I, I always pick lawyers. Let's do um, car, uh, or actually window cleaners in Miami. Right. We'll do we'll do a really off the topic keyword, and we'll go with um, we'll go with windowgang.com. Um, seems like a fairly big brand. So then, what you want to be doing is click on discover new keyword, start with a website, click on paste here, use the entire site, and then click on get results. This will go and do its thing. It might take a couple minutes but it has came back with 1,462 keywords. You also have the average monthly searches. You literally have everything here, right? So then what we would want to do is just click on this top section here. You can e export all of the keywords. What we're gonna do is click on download keyword ideas, then click on Google Sheets. We'll call this um, Window Cleaners Miami Hub or Keywords. You can call it whatever you want. Click on download. Once it has finished downloading, this will take a couple seconds depending on how many keywords you are uh, planning on exporting. You've then got the sheet here, right? So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll just clean up this sheet just so it's a little easier on the eye. Um, so we've obviously got the keywords here, average monthly searches. It's just the exact same thing, but in a Google Sheet format. Now what we want to do is essentially just highlight however many keywords that you want. Let's just do the top 120 keywords, right? Then we're gonna head over to Gemini. Now, as you can see, I've already done this for Ahrefs, but I'll do it all over again. So the prompt that I actually used was, um, I think I've just deleted the entire prompt, but let's do it again. I have a website to do with window cleaning services. Can you group together the following keywords um, so I know which pages to write about? on my website. Then we're just going to paste in here um, all of our keywords and we're going to hit on submit. Now this will take a couple minutes for it to do its thing. What I'm going to see is if I can duplicate this and look at the Ahrefs example that I had before. I might be able to, I might not be able to um, looks like I can but this has went and done it all over again so it's not the end of the world um, <clears throat> as you can see we have got group one which is 
core window cleaning services. So these are the keywords that we would be looking to have on our window cleaning services page, right? So for example, we've got domestic window cleaners near me, best window cleaners, best residential, affordable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then there must have been some pressure washing um, keywords as well. Let's just take a look. Yeah, they do have a pressure washing page. Makes sense. So pressure washing services, they've got soft washing services. I don't actually know what soft washing is. Let's take a look. Is it for cars? Might be for cars. Actually, no, it's, it's still for houses, right? Okay. That makes sense. Soft wash. Uh, when it comes to cleaning the exterior surface of your home or business, it is important to choose the right method while pressure washing system may seem like an obvious choice to remove dirt and grime. It can actually cause damage. Right, okay, that makes sense. So a soft wash is a lot softer. A pressure washer is, it has a lot higher pressure. Who would have thought? Um, so then you have got the geo uh, location so you've got window cleaning la you've got austin chicago dallas then you have got exterior cleaning and how to use the these keywords groups so you would have one dedicated page to your core window cleaning services page use group one of keywords this is brilliant actually it's telling you how to use the keywords so group one is these keywords and you want to essentially create a core window cleaning services page. Then you have got one page dedicated to pressure washing services, use group two. So same again, you've got the pressure washing page and use all of these keywords on that page. Yep, I agree. Potentially another page for soft washing, use keywords Group three, this might be separate or a section within your pressure washing page if the audience overlap is large, right? Okay, I agree with that as well. Um, individual location based pages use group four, make pages for locations like window cleaning services, Los Angeles, add in a regional variation if you serve smaller towns too. Yep, I agree with that as well. A broad exterior cleaning page, use keywords from group five on this page, link out to dedicated pages for services for services if a visitor wants to clean, learn um, more about in each section. Yeah, this this is it's actually went one step ahead as well. It's also given you like a, a SOP on how to essentially create this. Um, important considerations: search volume, prioritize pages for. Uh, Keywords with high search volume, how often people search that term. You can use tools like Google Keywords Planner for a general sense. Little does this know we've already used Google Keywords Planner, so we already have that information. Competition, some keywords could be uh, too competitive, especially as a new website. Research the competition to know if it's feasible to rank for the most common terms. Then long tail keywords include niche um, keywords with lower search volumes but are highly specific to your service. Now what I'm actually going to do as well is can you give me a list of long tail keywords for this website. So then it's going to go ahead and also give us a list of long tail keywords, whether it is to do with window cleaning, gutter cleaning, uh, pressure washing. So window cleaning for high rise apartments, location, window cleaning for historic uh, homes. This is really good, actually. Um, it's actually come back with quite a lot of really good um, keywords as well. So window cleaning for high rise, gutter cleaning, um, hardware stain removal, pressure washing for mold, um, safe pressure washing for vinyl, pressure washing, soft washing for delicate roof surfaces, eco-friendly soft wa uh, wash house cleaning, long tail keywords, window cleaning um, services, specific neighborhood as well. Tips for creating your own long tail keywords, um, combine your services with problems faced by customers, add locations, questions, think about how how someone would phrase a search query, how much does pressure washing a driveway cost in location? Yeah, so the, the, this is actually really, really good what it's come back with. Um, how to use long tail keywords. So you've got 
write specific blogs answering these long tail queries, benefits of, of soft washing for delicate roof surfaces, this gives potential customers in-depth information, and also it's not also salesy when you're um, doing a lot of these articles, it's actually coming across as informative as opposed to selling a service. Um, use them as FAQ topics providing a direct answer on your site within page content naturally sprinkle some of these throughout your main service pages without making it sound unnatural so from an internal linking point of view as well it's told you everything you actually need to know there's actually a really good um, beginners keyword um, strategy as well because it's also giving you a lot of tips on how you should be doing your internal linking how you should be thinking of blog ideas etc um, etc et so that has been my review of Gemini and also using keywords um, or keywords ad planner for finding topics to do with our website if you guys do have any questions feel free to drop them down below and if you want a free 15-minute strategy call for your website make sure to check out cash thanks